Well, hello. I want to welcome you to another exciting episode of Pens in Use. Uh, this week, I have some old friends and some new friends. So, uh, I have just published a review of the pilot Vanishing Point, so I don't think I'll bother uh, using that one for you this week. Uh, pilot Fermo, I used last week, but uh, that, that one was new, actually, last week. Uh, this is a senator of some kind. It showed up, uh, I ordered it over Christmas, it finally showed up. Uh, it was part of my big splurge. Uh, my Aurora 88, uh, the Marte Modena that I got from as a gift. Uh, this is a Monteverde Regatta Sport, which if you look back is one of my very early reviews. I don't think I was even using a good camera yet. I think it was still on the iPad. I might be wrong, but I think it was an iPad one. This is a Bauer 388. Um, it's a pen. I ordered this in October and it just showed up last week. Uh, it must have been on the long route from China. That's not a joke. I mean, seriously, it must have been on the long route from China. Uh, and then here I have my Parker 51, which I traded with Ove Bjornsson. And you'll see some pens are not here because they're out of ink. Actually, the Marte Modena is close to being out of ink. And so is the Senator. I've been using the Senator a lot this week. So let's take a look at these these little critters. So today is February 3rd? Uh, I didn't look. Let's go with that. So this is my Pilot Fermo. The ink is Noodler's Green. Uh, the pen is a little bit dry, like its cousin, The Vanishing Point. I, uh, it is a good fine writer. I actually prefer the feel of this pen over The Vanishing Point. It's just more of a good size. Uh, the clicky on The Vanishing Point is nicer for, like, real quick, just one-handed operation. This one gets kind of can't quite make the twist to lock it open with my finger and thumb without really trying but uh that said i like the more subtle operation on this instead of <laughs> all right i just saw my face on the i i'm i'm watching that camera on my ipad because i've learned how to tether them and i saw my face there okay <laughs> Uh, still really liking the Aurora 88. It's had a bit of a break because uh, I was using the Senator actually all week. But I love this vintage Aurora 88. I can't wait to film a review of it. I don't know the nib size. It's one of the originals. But uh, it starts right up like a champ. And just writes it looks good it feels good in the hand uh interestingly i just noticed this week let's see if you can tell on this piston turning knob i might have to think about lighting when i review it one side is more faded than the other which i just find interesting doesn't mean anything it's just a thing i noticed all right and i have my senator now senator is a german make I don't know the model of the pen. Usually the source I bought them from is pretty good about it. They just say something about oversized, and it does not look oversized to me. I don't know. But it's another one, like I've mentioned, I like these semi-hooded slim back pens, which it is. So, Senator of some kind. From the 70s, uh, the ink in it is Kyonuto. An ink brand, by the way, that I've been getting to kind of enjoy lately. I wish I could get their black. When I said last week I don't plan any more buying, I'm making an exception for that black bottle of ink. Uh, if, if they sell it, it, I can't find it on my source right now. El Nibi, maybe. I don't know how to pronounce that, but I'm going to go with that. El Nibi. It's a deep blue. It's kind of a blue-black color. I like it, just kind of subtle. Um, the ink window is kind of like the um, 
the Mont Blanc um, 149 or else the Noodler's Nib Creeper. The only real problem I've had with this pen is sometimes I get ink on this grip section. I don't appreciate that. I don't know why, but I also notice there's no hole in the cap, which some older pens have. Is that why? Is it pulling ink out? I don't know. So uh, that's why I keep a pen and use it and write with it for a while before I actually review them. It's just with this pens in use, you're getting a preview of them before I've actually reviewed them and lived with them for a long time. All right, so this Mon Monte Mordena. Marte Modena? What the heck is it called? I have to look at what I wrote last week. Marte Modena Citizen. Almost out of ink. Oh, and as I mentioned last time, if it sits, it's a little bit of a hard start, but then it's fine. It's one of my smoothest pens. Marte Modena Citizen. New York finish, by the way. And the ink, again, what is the ink? Chionuto Kokiro. Uh, which is a moss green type of ink. I, I like it. It's, um, again, it's it's a more subtle ink than some of the other inks I have. Like, you know, when I compare it to a Noodler's ink, they're, they're just more intense and saturated. So I, I kind of like the subtlety. Now this, the Monteverde Regatta Sport. Um, I'm not sure what's up with this model it has a magnetic closure on the cap which I find interesting I put a stub black nib in you can see that over the years I've owned it there's been some chipping and I have what did I say 1.1 millimeter stub nib and the ink is Lamy Black. I have kind of a soft spot for black inks. I just uh, own a number of different bottles of black ink. Uh, that's one I haven't had out in a while, so I put it in this pen. I, I enjoy this pen. Uh, it'll never be a daily writer. With a fine nib in it, I don't care for it as well. It just... This is not a comfortable pen for me in a lot of ways. It's metal, it's heavy. Uh, so I use it for this. When I want to use that 1.1 millimeter stub nib, which is usually just uh, a little calligraphy, maybe a page of writing at a time, and that's it. All right, this is my Bauer. Uh, 388. The ink in it is Lamy Turquoise. Uh, I kind of like the ink as some shading. The pen, you know, the finish is nice. Oops, you can't see it. The finish is nice. Oh, that clip sort of, sort of looks familiar. In fact, somewhere I'm told that this is a knockoff of the Parker Sonnet. Now, I don't own a Parker Sonnet. I can't comment. I uh, just don't know. Uh, my complaint with this pen, it, you know, the size is okay. The finish is okay. It's not an amazing finish. It, it's finish. Uh, my biggest complaint is it's scratchy. But with a 2 $3 pen that I purchased, again, kind of like, uh, I guess you haven't seen this review yet. Uh, I will be uploading a review of two Jin Hao pens, and one of them arrived quite late. Um, this one was ordered, let's see, before Christmas, back in November, I think. I think it was before Thanksgiving. And anyway, it finally arrived this week, along with uh, another pen. But anyway, moving on. Uh, this is my Parker 51. I don't remember what ink's in this one. Do you mean Syrah? Nice smooth wet nib. Uh, 
Uh, the pen is comfortable to hold. Now, I honestly prefer the feel of the Aurora 88, but this is not a bad pen. Uh, it's interesting, and I'm, I'm looking forward to reviewing this one and doing a rodeo where I compare it to some of the knockoffs. Uh, I want to write through, I want to write with this some more. I want to write maybe one more fill with it, and then we'll talk about it. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's an iconic pen. It's a good pen. It's a pen I like. Um, so that, that's my new pens this week. I don't really have anything exciting photography-wise. I uh, Sports photography is about all I've done this week. I haven't even gone anywhere. I've just been at home. Uh, so I'll tell you what, what's ahead. I plan a review, a notebook review. Now this would be a nice notebook to review. Uh, but I want to spend a little more time with it. It's a Hungarian um, Bomo Art. Very nice notebook, very uh, classical. This is the notebook I want to review. It's called the uh, Uberworks Prototype. Uh, when I mentioned it before and said it was a prototype, I didn't realize that was a model. They're going to be released very soon. Uh, you can get some of the pens through my uberpens. Or not pens, ah, ink. Ah, okay. This is why I don't film stuff at night, because it's almost 10 o'clock, it's past my bedtime, and I don't think at night. I should record in the morning. But anyway, this is uh, for sale on uh, myuberpens.com, They and it, they will soon have it on their website, a different website, where they'll sell the notebooks themselves, separate from the pens, I guess. And they have a lot of different models of pens. Uh, I plan a series of videos this summer on physics, so that's the topic that this notebook's full of. You know, hardcover notebook. Uh, I, this is blank paper, but they, they gave it to me kind of as a gift. Um, maybe half as a sort of apology over my Aurora 88 debacle with them, which wasn't their fault, but I can see why they were disconcerted. Uh, I like this in the back, this feature, where you can put the contents. Now, There's two pages of it, so I've got a just a little bit written in it. Um, some removable pages. You know, the paper has been is kind of cream colored and a little ghosty. And I noticed the contents are only on one side, so I don't know if this is a notebook meant to be written on only one side or what. But I'll talk about that when I review it. So I think the next review I do after uh, well, you saw the vanishing point, but my next review is going to be this notebook. Uh, last week I didn't get a driving video uploaded. I didn't do a special Monday video. This time of year I am really busy and honestly things just did not get done. I am hoping this weekend I can get ahead on some things so uh, you know I'll, I'll build up a stock of those. But anyway, I thank you for watching and we'll see you later. Bye bye.